Okay, y'all, that was <laughs> embarrassing. What up, bros? It's Kyle, bro, and we're doing another video for Pride Month! It's our last, like, non-singing video for the month, I guess, I think? Maybe? I don't know. But I'm clearly here in the perp, feeling very, uh, foresty, I guess, dot, dot, dot. Um, but we're gonna make some art. So, basically, I realized that in my in my landscaping outside, in my pursuit to put more art in my house, I realized I don't really have any art or like anything that's like queer specific. So I really wanted to make something for myself this Pride Month that makes me think of not my phone going off, snap the wig chat. I wanna make something that really makes me remember um, queer people, specifically queer people of color, specifically queer women of color. So I actually got inspired by this artist, his name's Cal, and he's pretty freaking fly. He does like a lot of like dot work. I don't know what the specific word is. It's, it's all them little dots. That stuff drives me crazy because I'm just like, who has the time, the patience? But he also does a lot of single line drawings. And so that inspired me to try one of my own that is not actually gonna be a single line because I would rather die than put myself through that much stress. Um, but I decided on three different black queer feminine features that I was gonna do these on. However, today I'm just gonna do one because trying to get this right has already stressed me out enough. So we're gonna work on one of our three here. So first I did Marsha P. Johnson, of course, the icon, the legend, the dreamer, the believer. Um, and these are just like my sketches that I did on paper. Do not judge me, I'm not a drawer. I was really just trying to get like a rough generalization of what the face will look like and then do my line in this darker color. But we also did this one. This is the one y'all are really gonna talk shit about me, I already know. But this is Josephine Baker. I tried so hard, I tried so hard to make her mouth exists and I just for some reason I could not draw her freaking mouth and I kept going back and forth between this image with her in the suit and the top hat and the other really iconic image of her in that banana dress like with all the bananas around her waist and then I was like instead of drawing a mouth why don't you reference the other picture by putting a banana as her mouth and I was like Juicy! Juicy brain! Juicy brain! And then we also have Janelle Monet, my living icon, my ugh, ugh, ugh. I, this woman can do no wrong in my eyes. There's nothing this woman could do that's wrong. And she was also the first artist that we did for this month of Pride that I did a cover of. So we obviously had to do her in her pink music video, which I adore. But today we're just gonna do Marsha's um, sketch. So basically, like I said, did a general rough sketch in red, then did basically a pilot of how I'm gonna do the line work in blue. And I have these canvases that I've uh, like swirl dyed, that swirl dyed. I painted them with like paint pour and I have it in a set where all three here, let me just show you. Why don't I have a second person to help me with this? Okay, Whew. so I have all these that all go together. I'm gonna put them all together in a row. So I'll probably make a couple more videos where I do the other two, but again, we're just doing Marsha. So I probably can't see it on here, but I've kind of sketched it out in a red friction pin. Yeah, red friction pin. It's a ball pin, it's a clicker, and it's erasable. And it's really hard to see the red unless you're like right up on there, and it will erase away. So I don't feel bad about putting it on there because I know I can Get rid of you. What order did these go in? Okay, I need to number these. That's what I ought to. Juicy brain. Juicy brain yet again. Okay. So when I try to just look at this sketch and then try to re-replicate what I drew just by looking at it, we got this. So look at her. Look at her. <laughs> She's struggling a bit. So I did it in that pen so that I'd have some type of guide on here because basically once I do this, there is no take two. So y'all might just see me fail at this. Mm. This looks nothing like what I originally drew. Why did I make her face so long? Now what do we do? <laughs> now what? Now what do we do? <laughs> okay, y'all. 
that was <laughs> embarrassing. Um, that was embarrassing. But what we're gonna do instead is something else because this did not come out the way I wanted it to. It came out a lot better on the sketch. But one thing that I do know, I know how to draw every day, all day, is a butt. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> we're gonna draw some butts today, yet again. Because I need, I need something to come out of this video today. I need it, I need something. Y'all, honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. This video took way too long. I did too much, just, I, <sighs> I did too much. I, I don't even know what to explain. So I'm just gonna tell y'all everything I did and do a quick little voiceover so that y'all don't have to go through all the shit that I just went through. So after I messed up that painting severely, I went ahead and took three canvases that I already had, mixed some colors for browns with some red, blue, and yellow for undertone colors, mixed that all together, and then painted them all over. And then I went ahead and put a little 5x5 five five square on it to frame where I wanted to draw these butts. After I got that framework set up, I did a little bitty sketch. Then I went ahead and did it in the gold pen. And then once I got that down, if there were any mistakes, I went ahead and painted over them because it turns out that the pen cut into the paint because I was literally doing it today instead of working on a painting that had been done for many, many months and just needed to get drawn on. And then I messed that up. But now, after many, many moons, we have three new paintings. And I think they all came out really, really cute. I'm very proud of these, very happy. And you know, we went into this with, the, oh Jesus Christ. We went into this with the intent of making some queer art, but you know what? Every piece of art I make is queer because I am not a heterosexual. So y'all gonna deal with it. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. Next time, um, I don't know how to improve what I did. I just messed up. That's that's the facts and that's it. But we made something nice instead, so I'm happy with it. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.